Welcome back to our Marvel Snap deck highlight today. Coming back at you with some more She-Hulk action. Definitely the card I've been enjoying playing the most without a series four and five so far. Six energy, 10 power, costs one less for each unspent energy you had on the previous turn. I've been loving her in this shell. I've been calling double up thanks to Moon Girl here who duplicates our hand. A kind of ideal end game sequence for this deck is you play Moon Girl on four. We create a copy of She-Hulk in our hand. Then we pass on turn five, soaking up five energy ideally into a sunspot. And then on the sixth turn, we get to flood the board with an absolute mess of power. Two, one energy She-Hulks for 20. And then we mix in other powerful stat lines such as Maximus or Titania, who could also be doubled up or demons from Hood or Mysterios or Juggernauts to dictate where our opponent plays, creating a massive swing and wherever is an ideal location for us, where our opponent is least likely to be able to respond profitably. We also have Quinjet in the deck who can discount the copies of our cards made by Moon Girl to make those swings even larger. The other details in this deck are things such as armor to protect our copies of sunspots and demons from opposing killmongers that are very common, as well as Viper here who can clutter up the opponent's board by donating a hood or a straight Mysterio clone. At any rate, I hope you enjoy the game highlights that I have for you here today. I think they do an excellent job of showcasing the massive amount of stats that this deck puts into play on that final turn, creating fantastic wins. Remember, if you do enjoy it, to tap that like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite part is. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I post deck highlights, game news updates, other Marvel Snap tidbits here seven days a week. I'd love to see you back again sometime, but for today, enjoy some Double Up. Ayoop, thanks for the prime, appreciate it. It's gonna armor murder worlds here. Sometimes the visual on this is like cut in half and sometimes it's the whole thing. It's weird. I'm pulling this into the middle. I don't want to pull it into the Isle of Silence here, obviously. Our hands? Kinda nutty here, huh? We get to go Moon Girl. Honestly, probably to the right, right? Am I expecting them to... Moon Girl on the right. We're gonna get copies of all of these. And then we'll get to pass here. I don't want a moon girl in the middle because I'm planning to pass on turn five. And I don't just want to like commit her here and then get her Professor X locked out. So when we pass on five, She-Hulk's going to get reduced to one cost here. Oh, I could have played Quinjet out, huh? Quinjet would have saved me mana. That's fine though. That's fine. Well, plenty, plenty here. We go She-Hulk, Mysterio. This takes away three here and adds 10. That's not enough. 14 puts me to 22. This puts them to 21, right? This is 14, 22, they go to 21. And then we go Hulk, Demon, Demon. They play Spectrum right. They win middle. They're at 11 here. I'm at 16 here. I win. They play Destroyer on either side. I win middle and whatever side they don't destroy her. Yeah, seems good. Really impressive in game. The moon, the moon girl into double Hulk plus these one drops is is pretty sick. Victory. Oh, 
Might be worth trying. We can bounce around with it. I want to try the new cards in a different combination. So I think we should give that a go. How am I getting cards for all these decks at the cash trap drawer? Because caches aren't empty for everybody, chat. The reason why the bug hasn't been fixed yet is because it's an issue that's happening sporadically and not to everybody playing the game, which means they're the hardest bugs to chase down. I get that it's frustrating for the people happening, but like I've literally opened 600 collection levels worth of reserves with no problems. So I know the issues are happening for people, but they're having a hard time chasing it down because well, yeah. So if I moon girl in the middle here. If I moon girl in the middle here, she doubles hood and Thank you, Wanda. I'm really used to Wanda not being a friend yet. Oh, let's just put put a couple of stats into play here. Just count it up. Couple, couple of She-Hulks. The Dirty 40, yeah, basically. Well, we're technically putting 60 to play over here, right? Why I spew cubes, I would 100% play Jug there. God bless. God bless us, everyone. Patients have not ended up great for us. Although I guess that's a moon girl, huh? So, with Moon Girl here, uh, I think we Jug here, and then we Moon Girl, copy She-Hulk, copy Demon. Wait, do I just Sunspot then? Maybe I just Sunspot, actually. And then we Bank 2, and then we Bank 5. Yeah, okay, so the, the basic idea of this deck is we get to Moon Girl, Copy the She-Hulk and then play She-Hulk, She-Hulk, Demon, Demon. Won't they have Killmonger? Maybe. Oh, and we have Titania for the last turn now too. So we'll get to put 22, uh, 32, 37 power into play on turn six. Well, I only need to win the Nexus, right? We're, we're obviously going to lose Bojo World. Killmonger doesn't exist and cannot hurt me, chat. Killmonger doesn't exist and cannot hurt me, chat. Killmonger doesn't exist and cannot hurt me, chat.
Also, we don't have priority here, right? So we could, we could lose. Wait, do we have priority? No, 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 we're good, right? Okay, and do I want to jug the Nexus as well though? I guess is a question. Is that crazy, Colby, maybe? Would I rather do this? This is probably the line, right? I feel like it's really hard for us to lose doing this. You get slightly more power with the Titania and the Demon, but I think keeping them out of the Nexus is good. This card, this card's so good on the last turn. It's risky with Mojo. No, I just need to, you know, win the Nexus, win the game. If we kick like Thanos into Xandar, that's fine. Or that's scary a little bit, I mean, but. Outside of that, I think this is ideal. I saw, I saw, we're still putting 29 power into play, right? Like it's like 29 versus 37. Victory. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Okie doke. Think of this game, but shit. I'm gonna Polaris raid eventually, but is an absurd draw here because Moon Girl gets to stay in Luke's bar because she fills her hand, which is great. I forgot the vault was reopening. That's fine though, right? This ends with three cards from Moon Girl plus Moon Girl back in my hand. And then I get, I get a six here. And I'm going up three here and then we're going 10 here. Uh, Killmonger is not usually a card the opponent's archetype plays. Yeah, look at the vault. I'm not, we're not beating, we're not beating Killmonger. <laughs>
We would have we would have won without Luke's bar here. Victory. Not a bad. Plus uh, plus seven to plus four, but feel better about having that one for sure. Polaris, Invisible Woman is fun. I think I snapped them before I do this to them. The rest of her hand is pretty good here, too. A friend. Avengers. Assemble. Yeah, this is a moon girl into skip five, flood the board on six. Remember, moon girl hard caps her hand at seven and copies left to right, so we'll get second juggernaut, check it She-Hulk. And on the final turn, we'll be able to go She-Hulk, She-Hulk, Demon Sunspot, Mysterio. Jug middle should win middle, right? Well, there's a word where they, where they fill here, but... My friends... Oh! Oh! Are we still good? Maybe? We got two hulks. Mr. Fantastic goes for a loop. What's his last one here? Excuse me? All right, that was closer than I was expecting it to be, Chip. Weaked it. Weaked it out, but that was closer. That was closer than it should have been. Turn the unknown here. You go above the, you can go above the credit cap by claiming one big burst of credits at once. However, you won't be able to claim more credits once you are above it. So you'll be locked out of claiming missions and stuff. I think the content you're describing, Amalakon, would probably be popular and fairly clickbaity, but I also don't think it's very good from an educational perspective. Good content. We have priority here, so it's like Juggernaut the Mount Evangelist path. out there but like I have a sunspot on the right and like everything in my my hand is like pretty cheap right it would have been nice to be able to like copy demon into Tanya here moon girl moon girl would have been powerful this turn we're like still gonna have a pretty good last turn here
Okay, so they're losing the left, so they have to play left. So if they play two cards, If they play one card, they keep the Titania if I play nothing. If they play two cards, it beats me playing one card. God, this is, this is such a miserable gamble. I have priority to you, yeah. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, we're good. Victory. It's on the spot in the sewer. just armor here you almost always want to armor your sunspot there's just so many killmongers running around you know killmonger is one of those cards i always hear a lot of complaints about and this is one of the many cards you can play just to have counterplay to that it has a lot of value in that manner uh Anilin actually means i can just go ahead and play max here without penalty essentially so have some cards in your hand and then those cards are going away the bits brass appreciate that I think I'm playing hood and passing and then next turn we'll have titania juggernaut demon and then one card and then we'll moon girl get two demons two titanias yeah I jug here too for good measure I don't I don't need two jugs Right side is thoroughly armored up. Clear the takeoff. So now, whatever we draw here. I was going to say, we're going to copy whatever we draw here, but we're not. It's a quality quality card this is one of my one of my favorite cards not close yeah yeah we're gonna have 22 power teed up for two energy next turn and we can play anything out of our deck except She-Hulk. And even if we draw She-Hulk, we could play her as a 10 power, but probably worse than the others. They did nothing. So we're getting infinite. Oh, one energy even. That's funny. I forgot the other demon was already free. No, they couldn't put Shiolk and Info into play chat. They only passed with five energy up. They could like arrow plus She-Hulk, but that's not good enough. You're gonna fill our board. People have been asking why Titania. Like this is a good example why, right? Like look at how many stats we're putting into play here. This is what, 20, 
Uh, 26 power. Seems great. Thanks for being one of the awesome people that made it all the way to the end of the video. Remember your likes and comments help videos grow with engagement and be sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. I post Marvel Snap game news, updates, deck highlights, and other fantastic stuff here seven days a week. We hope to see you back again real soon.